there is one thing which the deputy president William Samoei Ruto has always avoided at all cost and I give him credit for that is direct confrontation with president Uhuru Mugekenyata William Ruto has avoided despite provocation any confrontation with the president William Ruto has been humiliated he has been shamed and he has been embarrassed in a government he formed he has even been humiliated by very junior government officials but despite all those William Ruto has avoided confronting the president but we are now starting to see a new William Samoei Ruto William Ruto who is now ready to confront president Uhuru Mugekenyata yesterday William Ruto held a meeting with political leaders, religious and community leaders from Kiambu County in Karen. And during that event, the deputy president confronted President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. Our friends up to today, they believe that the power that is donated by the people of Kenya can be sought and exercised by leaders and that the constitution and institutions created by the constitution and the law should facilitate those in power to get to drive their agenda and if their agenda is in conflict with the constitution they believe the constitution should be changed to fit into their agenda we believe differently we believe power donated by the people of Kenya, exercised by leaders, should be in accordance with the Constitution, respecting the institutions set up by the Constitution, and in adherence to the rule of law. And if the pursuit of those in power is in conflict with the constitution it is not the constitution to be changed it is what they are pursuing to be changed to be in line with the constitution <laughs> that is a fundamental difference so in this video i want us to do a critical analysis of william ruto's new strategy of dealing with the president Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. But before we do that, if you are watching this channel for the first time, I want you to take a second or two and click the subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And again, just to, rem to remind you guys, YouTube accepted us into the channel membership. For those who would like to join, please just click the join button and follow the direct process. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Now let us get back to business. William Ruto and Uru Kenyatta formed the Jubilee government. And very few people had actually anticipated that these guys were not going to survive beyond 2022. Basically, nobody had expected Uhuru and Ruto to fall out immediately after the last election. But revelations have been emerging that even by 2015, the disagreement had started exhibiting itself. In fact, Eden Ndwale, David Murade, Kipchumba Murkomen, and others have always stated clearly that they started suspecting that Uhuru and Ruto were not going to work together. Murkomen was very clear that President Uru Mugai Kenyatta stopped assigning William Ruto roles as early as 2015. Yesterday, William Ruto held a meeting with the leadership from Kiambu County and he lectured the president in front of these people. And it's not the first time the deputy president is nowadays lecturing or confronting President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. Why do you think the deputy president 
has finally decided to start confronting President Uhuru Muge Kenyatta. In my considered opinion, and I want to be very brief, William Ruto is doing this because of four reasons. Number one, it is his latest strategy. And this latest strategy is actually designed to win the support of Kenyans, those who previously believed in Raila Amolodinga. William Ruto is now and is trying so hard to appear as if he is now pro-people, pro-reforms, and pro-everything. Remember, Raila Odinga has always been called the people's president. Why do you think he's called the people's president? He's called the people's president because he was always pro-people. Of late, if you study William Ruto, his actions are actually pegged on what are presumed to be pro-people. The BBI, most people opposed. So William Ruto was right with the people there. In his attack in, uh, in uh, Karen yesterday, he was telling the president not to change the constitution, but change himself. That the president should obey the constitution. In fact, the deputy president has now started speaking on the issues of constitution, democracy, and the rule of law. Personally, I never imagined that I would live in a country where the deputy president, William Ruto, is actually talking about constitutionalism, talking about the rule of law, and talking about respect of democracy. Because, let us just face it, let us go back a bit to 2017. In 2017, the, the Supreme Court instructed IBC to allow NASA access the servers. Up to now, that order has not been obeyed. William Ruto never defended NASA at that time. He never pushed IBC to provide those servers. So basically, when it comes to disobeying court order, which Uhuru is nowadays doing and has been doing for a long time, he never raised his voice. For people and overturned the will of the people so that the will of a few people in court can prevail. We want to tell them. It is not the Supreme Court that is supreme. It is the Kenyan people that are supreme. And we will prove this shortly. We will prove to them shortly. Wasilewe ya kwamba kwa sababu wanaitwa Supreme Court wafikiri ya kwamba they are more supreme than the supreme will of the Kenyan people. Then they were sworn in. After that, Miguna Miguna, a man born in Kano and raised in Kano, was deported. Again, the courts issued an order for Miguna Miguna to be returned into the country. As we speak today, Miguna Miguna is still rotting in a foreign land. William Ruto during that time justified the deportation of Miguna Miguna. I remember even uh, Kipchumba Murkomen justified the deportation. Although, Miguna, uh, although Kipchumba Murkomen recently apologized for his action. So it means President Ruto Kenyatta has not been obeying court orders in a very long time. Not now. But why do you think the deputy president is talking about these court orders obeying law? rules, democracy, recently. Why do you think he started talking about this thing? He wants to be where the people are. People always want the constitution to be, to be respected. They want democracy to thrive. People want the rule of law. In fact, without the rule of law, you can't have order. So Ruto has realized that in a long time, these are some of the things which are attracting people to Raila Molodinga. So he has devised a new strategy 
of appealing to some of these people by appearing to be pro people and in fact that strategy is working for him if you read the comments on that particular statement which he issued yesterday on his facebook page the the reaction there are so many people who are actually pleased with that statement so basically william ruto is now designing a new strategy to endure himself to the people a populist strategy number two why he lectured Uru Kenyatta in front of these Kiambu people is that he's now taking the war right to the doorsteps of President Uru Kenyatta. William Ruto has avoided any direct confrontation with the president. During the Juja parliamentary by election, he had the option of uh, sponsoring a candidate there. But because he didn't want direct confrontation with the president, he decided not to venture in Juja. But when Kiamba came, we now saw a different William Ruto who was now ready to sponsor a candidate using his own political party in Kiamba. And he's going there, not for anything. William Ruto is going there to win. He's going to, there to confront the president. And the mere fact that for the first time, William Ruto was meeting the leadership from Kiambu, community leaders, religious leaders and political leaders from Kiambu in his office and talking bad about the president is something which nobody would have thought of. So basically, he's not telling the president that this war which you started, let us finish it. I'm bringing it down. I'm bringing it to right to your doorsteps. Of course, it, it's understandable that there's a by-election in Kiamba, Uhuru Kenyatta and Ruto are actually flexing their muscles in Kiamba. Who is going to win? Ruto is meeting people. It's like William Ruto going to Bondong and getting 90% of community leaders there to Sugoi and then addressing them there and talking bad about Raila Molodina. It might not really happen, but it's now happening. Number three, I also suspect that all these latest moves by the deputy president are actually his strategy to lay the grounds to resign. I've always told people that from whichever angle you look at it, William Ruto will ultimately have to resign from Jubilee. And he's going to do it at the right time. Uhuru Kenyatta tried to push him to resign. But he couldn't resign because resigning would have meant leaving his office as the deputy president William Samuel Ruto. If he left that office, for example, this meeting would not have happened in current. So I think Ruto has decided that the time to resign is actually fast approaching. For him to contest for the presidency, he will have to be a member of your order for some time, six months to the election. But again, he also needed to resign to, to create euphoria, to lead mass exodus from Jubilee. So I'm seeing a situation where the DP has started doing this. He's telling everybody that that's the direction. And number four, which is my last point, why he was lecturing the president, is that the DP is trying so hard to dissociate himself from Jubilee failures and from President Uhuru Muge Kenyatta. You know, in this country today, President Uhuru Kenyatta has record. Uhuru Kenyatta is considered to be one president who presided over a government which was corrupt. So Jubilee government is associated with corruption. When Ruto was in it, Ruto was the face of that corruption. But he has managed to, to leave. So he wants to leave that burden to the president. Uhuru is also viewed as someone who disregarded the law. He doesn't respect the judiciary. 
the judiciary has issued several orders which has continued to disobey. William Ruto would not want to be associated with that. And there are so many things which are happening in this country. The collapse of economy, which is attributed to Jubilee government. Ruto is trying so hard to run away from those burdens. So basically by attacking President Ruto Kenyatta on any other issue of late, basically shows that he's trying so hard to dissociate with Jubilee party. I don't know what you think. Why do you think the deputy president would get the guts to attack President Ruto Kenyatta right in front of his people? People of his own county. Let me read your comments. But for me, I think he did this because that's his latest strategy, which is populist trying to win the support of people who previously believed on Raila Molodinga. Number two is taking the war to President Uru Kenyatta's doorsteps. And number three is laying the ground to resign from government. And lastly, he's trying so hard to dissociate himself from Jubilee government and from President Uhuru Muge Kenyatta. If you're watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click the subscribe button. And to the subscribers, I want to continue to thank you guys for your continued support. I just don't know how to thank you guys. You guys are amazing. You've supported this channel from when we were, I mean, I, I can't even describe, but you've stood with the channel. You've always advised. Whenever I'm heading south, you'll always tell me this is the path. When I'm headed north, you tell me this is the path. And I think I'm also a good listener and I've listened to some of those your advices. I want to take this opportunity to ask you guys, anybody who has any advice, to also give it to me today. Because today I want to read all the comments. And by the way, don't forget to drop your comments on this particular one. Just drop that comment. I want to read all the comments, try to respond to all of them before I leave in the next one or two hours. Thank you guys and may you have a good day. By the way, join Join the channel membership right away. We have already 11 people have already joined. And I know that number is going to increase. Pole pole too. No hurry. Thank you. Good day.